Okay, what's up guys? It's Cobra from codingwithcobra.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on the UI tab bar controller. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a navigation bar up here. I'm going to show you how to change the color of the bar and the tabs. I'm going to show you how to use images and stuff. I'm going to show you how to programmatically change the index so like to switch from tab one to tab three programmatically and i'm basically just going to give you a full overview so that you can get started with it so start by let's create a new project and we want an ios app i'm going to call it tab bar tutorial uh oh by the way it's going to be programmatic so programmatic UI kit, so interface storyboards, language Swift. Okay, so starting out, we're gonna change the deployment version to 13.0. We're gonna come into info. We're gonna delete this main storyboard file base name. We're gonna go into application scene manifest. Um, this here, we're gonna open this up until we get to storyboard name main. Delete that. Delete your main storyboard. Go into project, then your project, and change the deployment to 13.0. You can Command Shift K to clean the build folder. Come into Scene Delegate, and I'm going to use Autocomplete, and we'll come back to that. So I'm going to make a new folder called Supporting. I'm going to throw everything except the View Controller and Info. Dot P list in there. We're gonna make a bunch of view controllers for the tabs. You can make them whatever you want. I'm just gonna pretend this is a workout app. So make a new Coco Touch class, uh, subclass UI view controller. We're gonna call this one history controller. I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna call it workout controller. I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna call it exercise controller and that's probably fine you can do up to five and then if you have more than five there'll be a little more tab there i'm going to come into view controller and i'm just going to change this to home controller and we're going to make the backgrounds different colors for all of them so i'm going to say this one self dot view dot background color equals dot system green i'm just going to copy this so i can just paste it so coming to the next one, change the color. We'll make the system blue. And the next one, system purple. And the last one, system, we'll do red. Okay, cool. So we're gonna make a new file. It's gonna be a Cocoa Touch class and it's gonna be a subclass of UI tab bar controller and we're going to call this tab bar controller or just tab controller okay so i'm going to delete these comments we're going to make a function we're going to say private func setup tabs now the way this works is you make your view controllers or your nav controllers and you call a function called self.setViewController's it takes an array of view controllers. Now, both the view controller, so if we say let VC equals home controller, uh, VC should have an item called tab bar item. And there we can set the title and then also the image. So that's that title and image down here. So what I'm gonna do, because we have to do this for all of them, I'm gonna make a, another function. We're gonna call this private func create nav we're going to take a with title of type string and image of type ui image optional and vc ui view controller and this is going to return a ui navigation controller so we're going to create a nav controller so we're going to say let nav equals ui navigation controller the root view controller is going to be this view controller here parameter let's just say return nav 
So like the view controller, we can just say nav dot tab bar item and we can set the title equals title. We can do the same thing with image. So one thing to note, this tab uh, bar item dot title, that will just set the tab uh, title. And then also you have nav dot navigation item dot title and that will set this title, the navigation bars title. So if you have a longer title, you'd use it as the nav and the uh, nav title. And if you had a shorter one, you'd use it as the tab bar title. Now, the way that the navigation bar works is, or navigation controller is it has a property nav dot view controllers. Now that because the navigation controller, you can push new view controllers onto it. It's like a stack. So this is an array. So right now uh, we've only set one view controller. We haven't pushed any on top of it. So we'd use the first um, index to get it, or you could do nav controllers zero array. Oh, and I was actually wrong about something. So if you want to set the navigation bars title, how you would do that, you'd say nav dot view controllers, we can go zero, or I like to do dot first. We'll do navigation item dot title equals, and then we can set the title. So I'm gonna say title plus controller with the space. So we can also set buttons in here. So we could say, uh, right bar button item and we could set equals UI bar button item title button style plane and I'm just gonna put nail through these but you could set a selector and handle that in here this UI tab bar controller it is a subclass of view controller so it has a view and it has uh, everything that a UI view controller has. So if you say self.view, that's the same as in a view controller. So you can actually set properties or uh, UI components on it. So that's all I'm gonna do for there. Now what we can do, we can come up into setup tabs. I'm just gonna pass an empty array in here and animate it as true. What we would do, we'd say let home equals self.create nav with, and then we'd pass in our title, UI image. What you can do, if you've never seen this before, you can Google this. This is SF symbols and it's from Apple. And all of these icons, you can use it in your app and you don't have to import images, but you should be careful and check here that it supports your iOS version. So iOS 13 is the minimum for all of them but some of them are 15 and 16 even. So you can also just search things up here. So search like house and copy the name. And yeah, so this one, I'm gonna use that house image and the view controller. Now we pass in home controller here. So you can set delegates and view models and such in here as well. So I'm gonna copy and paste that four times. The next one is history controller. I think this is clock and history controller. I'm just gonna speed through this. Okay, so now we're just gonna call setup tabs in our view did load. Self.setup tabs. Now come into your scene delegate. And now here, all we have to do is set this root view controller to tab controller. So if you run that now, we should have our tab controller. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to change the color of everything, which is pretty basic. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. So if we run this, this bar tint color will change the background of it the tint color will change the icon and title. And if you do not set this unselected item color, it will be the same color, but the selected index will be more defined. 
So as you can see here, maybe you can see or can't, but they're both, they're all green, but the selected one is more green. So if you select, if you set the unselected item tint color, then the non-selected, I mean, pretty self-explanatory, like you see there. So you also have the option to do this globally, I think, with these ones, and it probably has an unselected item tint color as well. So you could put that in like, I don't know, your app delegate or something, some helper function, if you don't want to set it in here. But yeah, I think this looks cleaner, personally. So if you want to programmatically change the index, you can say self.selected index, and you can set it to two. So this is gonna start on the third tab now. So we start at workout controller instead of home controller. We also have delegate functions. If you, let me just close some tabs. If you go into tab bar controller, as you can see here, it automatically conforms to UI tab bar delegate, which if we take a look at it, we have did select. So this is called whenever a new tab is selected. You have also, um, so you have some other functions as well. I don't know when you'd use these, but you have them. You also have more functions. You can say self.delegate equals self. And then that will be the UI tab bar controller delegate. So if you fix that, now we have access to tab bar controller delegate functions. So you have should select. So if you return false, it will return. It will not allow you to switch tabs. That could be useful sometimes. You also have did select and which one is it? So you have two of them and I forget sent to the sent to the delegate when the user selects a tab bar item. And then you have this one tells the delegate to that the user selected an item in the tab bar. So yeah, you have both of them. I don't know when you'd use each, but basically you can do some kind of action when I guess one of them is after it's being selected. So here I'll just show you quickly. We can say stuff like if uh, self dot selected index equals one, we can set an alert. So we'll say let alert equals UI alert controller. And we'll do title, hello, nil, alert, alert dot add action, add a button, title is dismiss, dot default, nil, and then we can just present self dot present, alert, animated, true, completion, nil, run that. So now if we select the first index, second index, oh, and this is false. So I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now if we click the first index, second index, it will give us an alert. It also, the difference is this one passes you the view controller. So if you need to do something on the view controller, view controller, you could also say let view controller equals view controller as and like home controller, and then you'd have access, oops, you'd have access to whatever functions you have in that view controller. But I'm gonna show you how to get it a different way. And then this one down here, uh, you have this item. So where is it? Like title and image, stuff like that. So might be useful. So now I'm gonna show you how to get access to the view controllers from your code. So, we set these up as navigation controllers. So we're gonna say if let exercise nav equals self.viewcontrollers. So this is the array of all of our view controllers. And let's say we want access to exercise controller, this third index. We're gonna say this uh, array is optional, so question mark, third index as 
UI navigation controller. So we got, we set these as navigation controllers. So we need to downcast. Then we can say let exercise nav equals exercise nav, or sorry, exercise controller con equals exercise nav dot view controllers. Because remember this UI nav controller is a stack of view controllers. So we can just grab the first one as exercise controller. And then that should work. This needs to be optional. So we could do whatever we want. Right now, the color is red. We could change it. Exercise con dot view equals dot system. Uh, sorry, view dot background color equals green. And if we run that, should work green. You can also use a one liner like this. So we just wrap this first part in uh, parenthesis. And yeah, so same thing. So what I did was I changed this create nav to just a normal view controller. So it's no longer navigation controller. So as you can see here, just a normal view controller. Now it's not working because um, I changed it and we're no longer downcasting properly. So all we have to do is downcast as a view controller now. So we don't have to do this step here. So that's probably all you'll need. Um, just remember, this is basically just a view controller. So on the self.view, you can set whatever you want. You can have UI comp uh, components, auto layout, whatever. So that's all I've got for you. If you liked the video, if it helped out, please click like. If you want more Swift videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. So thanks for watching, peace.